Hi, so today I'd like to talk to you about a common misconception uh, when, it, when it comes to stillbirths, uh, miscarriages or embryonic demise. So uh, there's a very common case where the embryonic demise happens because of some form of uh, chromosomal abnormality of the embryo or the fetus. Medically we call this embryonic chromosomal abnormality and then that's what uh, led the, to the stillbirth or the miscarriage. So many patients because of this they were diagnosed by their doctor so they were also at the same time recommended to go for adoption or surrogacy uh, if they want children because something like this is untreatable because it's inherited so that is the general consensus so today i'd like to clear up this misconception uh, embryonic chromosomal abnormality has nothing to do uh, with the chromosomes of the parents it is not a genetic disease or problem. So uh, to re-emphasize, this is not something that you can inherit. Embryonic chromosomal abnormality is not an inherited disease. It is actually caused by uh, some changes of the internal or external environment of the growing embryo or fetus. So the embryo is growing in the uterus. So any changes in this environment will lead to a uh, genetic abnormality. Uh, the environment is separated into two groups. The internal environment refers to the uterus, so any disorders or diseases that the mother might have that she was not diagnosed before because it was unknown and unclear. And then when she was uh, pregnant, and then this uh, miscarriage has happened, and then uh, no one really thought to further analyze or investigate on what actually led to the fetal demise or miscarriage. So they just tried to blame it on the genetic problem because uh, after the induced abortions, when they retrieve and analyze the demised fetus or embryo, they realize that oh, there is a, some genetic anomaly that happened, some chromosomal abnormality. So they will just immediately diagnose it as a genetic problem, when in fact it was changes of the environment, which means the mother might have uterine malformation. Uh, she might have uterine fibroids, there might be uh, some problems with the ovaries, she might even have an immunity factor. All of these will affect the genetic development of the fetus. The external environment refers to the food that the mother eats during this uh, pregnancy period. Some of the uh, things that she may be exposed to that she didn't know was hazardous to the development of the baby. For example, uh, she may be in excessive uh, sunlight, she might be in a uh, exposed to radiation, all of these uh, factors where, the, where there are several can affect and cause genetic anomaly in the developing pregnancy. So to prevent this type of uh, embryonic chromosomal abnormality, before pregnancy you should get diagnosed for any potential uh, problems or changes in the internal or external environment. A good uh, GP or gynecologist will have diagnosed you with certain underlying condition that you were not aware of and that's what actually is leading to the genetic anomaly of the uh, pregnancy and it has nothing to do with the chromosomes of you or your partner. So because of this type of common misconception, it has uh, damaged a lot of marriages because they were, they were thinking that they were unable to have children because uh, simply they were unhealthy genetically. But to really Iterate, it has nothing to do with the chromosomal conditions of you or your partner. Before going for pregnancy, go and get a comprehensive prenatal checkup. Get diagnosed for any potential disorder that might threaten the safe uh, and healthy development of the pregnancy. So I hope this video can help uh, some couples who are struggling to get children and they were diagnosed with embryonic chromosomal abnormality. So please find a good hospital and good doctor to get diagnosed and find out the underlying cause before you go for a pregnancy. And I assure you, you can have a healthy and successful pregnancy. Now, if you'd like to have uh, some discussions or any questions that you may have, please leave them uh, at the discussion uh, portion below. Please stay tuned to our next video.